Jack Infinity 203, and I'm here to talk to you about the Fast and the Furious, which is now 20 years old, and it is the start of the Fast and the Furious franchise, and it stars Ben Diesel, Paul Walker, Jordana Brewster, Michelle Rodriguez, and many more. The story follows Brian O'Connor, an undercover cop who was sent in there to destroy and arrest anybody involved with the street racing in L.A., but then he gets tested with his loyalties, whether he wants to be involved with Dom's crew because he eventually finds himself in love with his sister, Mia, or whether he wants to stay in the LAPD and catch the perps. And so that kind of creates some tension between whether Brian wants to stay there or whether he wants to go on with what he's tasked to do. And that's interesting because he and Dominic Toretto have such great dynamic with each other how you see him like he wants to do this he wants to be involved with the street racing he wants to be involved with what he's doing but then it's kind of like is this really what he wants to do because of how illegal it is so eventually because of that it leads to like they have some great performance the acting is great from the crew all around whether it was Jordana or whether it's Michelle or whether it's Vin and Paul which Vin and Paul were the standout characters in this movie and so it was great seeing them talk with each other you see them go from racing all the way in the beginning to when they're trying to get away and then even with the ending too so they were great for sure and then the car sequences are awesome man i'm telling you just the way they were shot and the way they were kind of filmed it looked really cool visually and they're just really cool sequences to watch too. You're seeing cars race, they go fast. And that's always that's a really delightful to watch for sure. Definitely one of the highlights of the movie. And it had some cool music in the background as these scenes kind of play out. Um, so that's another thing. Aside from that, it did have kind of a weak story. Like it's really kind of just about it's one of those stories where it really worked because the actors were good. They were really good. And so and it's not too memorable either. It's just the fact that I feel like because the story is really trying just about Brian O'Connor, who's now undercover with Dominic Toretto and them, and he just kind of gets caught. And then he gets we meet the villains who were kind of just OK. They were just like, oh, you better pay up or something like that. And they don't they weren't necessarily too threatening. I think they there were times where I think. They could have been done better, maybe just the execution, which could have been a little bit stronger. I also think the movie hasn't aged all that well. It's still an entertaining movie, but I feel like looking at the state now with these recent movies that they have put out, especially F9, the Fast Saga, I don't think it necessarily holds up that well, just because it's weird to look back at this movie for what it is, because it's more small scale but then you look at like fate of the furious and now they kind of went to saving the world and all that stuff which by the way that doesn't ruin this movie it's not really a negative it's just more of i feel like this movie clearly it just it kind of shows you how much the series has changed so yeah that's kind of another thing but the ending oh and then the ending the ending was cool i thought it was cool seeing dom and brian kind of race and then you have a train come in, and it was kind of like, are they going to make it? Are they going to make it? Are they going to make it? They made it. But there's a twist to, that happens to Dom, which was shocking. And when that happens, it kind of gets to the point where in this movie, what does Brian do? Is he going to let him go? Or is he going to catch, let him get arrested? And so eventually, he chooses to give him the keys to his car and he lets him get away and that pretty much cements brian's place and his role in the future movies because this time he's no longer in the lapd and now he's pretty much on the run especially with what you see in too fast too furious and his future movies that he's involved in so yeah that was overall the fast and furious is a solid start to the fast and furious franchise and it's definitely a movie that if you're a fan of cars and racing and kind of stuff like that or a fan of the actors then definitely go watch this movie i do think it's an entertaining movie that you should definitely watch and i have no doubt that you would get a good time out of this one
I'm going to give The Fast and the Furious a B minus. And you should definitely go watch this. Those are my thoughts on The Fast and the Furious. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And this movie is definitely a good start to the Fast and Furious franchise. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. I will be doing more reviews. I hope you guys have a great time. So yeah, stay tuned for more.